What if the James Webb Space Telescope just did the impossible? What if the most powerful observatory ever built captured something that shouldn't exist? Light from before our universe began. A mysterious signal has been detected in one of JWST's deepest scans, and it doesn't match any known galaxy, star, or cosmic structure. It pulses. It reflects cosmic patterns, and some physicists are wondering if we're looking at light from before time began. This isn't science fiction. This is cutting-edge theoretical physics meeting the most sensitive telescope ever built. The James Webb Space Telescope was designed to peer back to the cosmic dawn. But what if it accidentally saw something even older? Theoretical physicist Michio Kaku has proposed a stunning possibility. If our universe budded from a parent universe, or if a previous universe ended in a flood of photons, those ancient photons could be trickling in. Webb might be seeing a ghostly afterglow from beyond our Big Bang. Since its launch, Webb has been shattering records, finding galaxies closer to the beginning of time. But what has astronomers truly puzzled is what lies beyond these galaxies. A faint, perfectly periodic infrared signature that doesn't align with any known cosmic process. Could we be witnessing light from a dead universe, one that lived and died before our own began? The mystery signal. In May 2025, while analyzing Webb's ultra-deep field observations, scientists discovered something extraordinary, a recurring infrared signal in a region completely devoid of galaxies. At first, researchers thought it might be an instrument glitch or data processing error. But after painstaking analysis across multiple observing periods, the signal persisted. This wasn't just any anomaly. The signal's wavelength doesn't match any known cosmic object, not a quasar, not a starburst galaxy, not even the diffuse glow of galactic dust we typically find in deep space. What makes this discovery truly remarkable is the pattern itself. The infrared pulses repeat with a periodicity that mathematically mirrors the acoustic oscillations found in the cosmic microwave background, the oldest light in our universe. But here's the mind-bending part. These signals are completely out of phase with what we'd expect. As one leading astrophysicist put it, it's like a reflection of the early universe, but flipped as if viewed from the outside. The symmetry is too perfect to be coincidental. The signal appears to be synchronized with fundamental cosmic rhythms, yet reversed, as if it's an echo responding to our universe's earliest moments. This has led to a startling hypothesis. Could we be detecting light that originated outside our observable universe, perhaps from a cosmos that existed before our own? This bizarre discovery has caught the attention of renowned theoretical physicist Mikio Kaku, who has long speculated about cosmic phenomena beyond our observable universe. Kaku, a pioneer in string field theory, has spent decades exploring concepts like bubble universes, cosmic echo chambers, and the possibility that universes can birth new ones, ideas once considered too speculative for mainstream science. String theory says that perhaps two universes collided to create our universe, or maybe our universe budded from another universe, leaving an umbilical cord, Kaku explained in earlier theoretical work. Think of two bubbles with a tube connecting these two bubbles. When presented with Webb's anomalous signal data, Kaku offered a characteristically bold interpretation. Maybe Webb has captured a final echo, the ghost light of a cosmos long dead. If our universe budded off from a parent universe, we might expect to find precisely this kind of mathematical reflection in the infrared spectrum. Kaku points out that if universes can branch off from one another, some form of quantum connection, what he's called an umbilical wormhole, might persist, allowing faint radiation to pass between them. The implications are profound, Kaku suggests. If this signal is verified, we wouldn't just be looking at the edge of our universe. We'd be witnessing the fingerprints of a universe that lived and died before our own was born. Quantum twist. If you find discoveries like this as mind-bending as we do, make sure to subscribe. We dive into real cutting-edge science every single week. 
The web signal anomaly only gets stranger the more researchers examine it. When the raw data proved too complex for conventional analysis, scientists turned to advanced deep learning algorithms specifically designed to clean and enhance JWST's infrared observations. What they found defies our fundamental understanding of physics. One model, after processing thousands of iterations, suggested something that should be impossible. The infrared pulses exhibit signs of entropy reversal, essentially an arrow of time anomaly. In simpler terms, these photons appear to behave as if they originated from a universe where time flows in the opposite direction to ours. While all known physical processes in our universe increase entropy, moving from order to disorder, these signals show statistical patterns that reverse this fundamental tendency. Dr. Elena Markova, a quantum physicist not directly involved in the discovery, explains, this resembles theoretical predictions for particles exhibiting time symmetry violations. It's as if these photons aren't just from somewhere else in space, but from a different temporal framework altogether. This bizarre finding aligns with highly speculative theories on CPT symmetry, charge, parity, and time reversal that suggest, under certain conditions, particles might exhibit behaviors that appear to run backward in time. Some theorists have proposed that if light from a dead universe were somehow leaking into ours, it could potentially display quantum time mirroring or reverse causality signatures, precisely what the web data appears to show. If confirmed, this wouldn't just be evidence of another universe, it would be evidence of a universe with fundamentally different physical properties than our own. The mystery deepens further. After applying sophisticated denoising algorithms to isolate the signal from background radiation, researchers noticed something that shouldn't be there. The light intensity follows a pattern of brightness intervals that corresponds to Fibonacci sequences, mathematical patterns found throughout nature. This structured variation isn't random noise, it's too orderly, too consistent across multiple observations. Yet it doesn't match any known astrophysical source or natural cosmic process we've ever documented. Dr. Amar Chandra, an astrophysicist specializing in signal processing, notes, the statistical probability of this pattern occurring randomly is virtually zero. It resembles the kind of structured information we see in error correction and coding, similar to digital compression systems used in modern communications. This observation has drawn attention from an unexpected quarter. SETI researchers who study potential extraterrestrial signals. While cautious about jumping to conclusions, several SETI scientists have pointed out similarities to theoretical low-level communication signaling patterns they've been searching for. As Dr. Jill Tartar, former director of the SETI Institute, once noted in her research, information-bearing signals would likely contain mathematical patterns that stand out from the random noise of natural cosmic processes. So what is this? A leftover frequency from a forgotten aeon? A final cosmic heartbeat? Some now believe this may be our first glimpse of what came before the Big Bang. If these photons truly originated before our universe began, they would represent the most ancient light ever detected, older than what we previously thought was the oldest possible observable radiation. Impossible redshift. Perhaps the most perplexing aspect of this mysterious signal is its redshift, the measure of how much its light has been stretched by the expansion of the universe. Astronomers use redshift to determine cosmic distances and ages, with higher redshift indicating greater age. But when scientists calculated the redshift of this anomalous signal, they encountered a paradox. Following standard cosmological models, the trajectory places these photons' origin at a time before the Big Bang itself, before our universe even existed. This presents a fundamental problem. Light cannot travel through time before the universe exists. The laws of physics as we understand them simply don't allow it. Dr. Maya Hernandez, a cosmological theorist, explains the conundrum. 
If we trust our measurements, and we've checked them repeatedly, these photons violate our understanding of causal boundaries. They appear to have begun traveling before the earliest possible moment of our universe. For this to be possible, one of several extraordinary scenarios must be true. Either these photons somehow tunneled through from another cosmic cycle, perhaps from Roger Penrose's theoretical previous aeon in his conformal cyclic cosmology, or they leaked across what physicists call a causal horizon, a boundary in space-time beyond which events cannot affect an observer. Or most radically, they could be evidence of superluminal expansion from a previous inflation epoch, a cosmic period predating our own universe's inflation phase. The mathematics is clear. Based on every standard model of cosmology, these photons shouldn't exist within our observable history. Their presence challenges fundamental assumptions about the beginning of our universe. This extraordinary signal finds its theoretical foundation in the work of Nobel Prize winning physicist Sir Roger Penrose and his conformal cyclic cosmology, a radical reimagining of cosmic history. Penrose proposed that universes exist in an endless cycle where each cosmos expands until it becomes effectively empty, and then this emptiness mathematically transforms into the Big Bang of the next universe. In his view, our Big Bang wasn't the beginning of everything, just the latest iteration in an eternal sequence. For years, Penrose and his team have searched for evidence of this theory, hunting for what they call hawking points and circular patterns in the cosmic microwave background, possible imprints left by black holes from the previous cosmic cycle. While those searches yielded controversial results, what makes this web discovery so compelling is that it might represent the first infrared version of such an echo. Detected at wavelengths, Penrose's earlier searches couldn't access. This is where Kaku and Penrose's ideas converge from different theoretical directions. While Penrose approaches from mathematics and general relativity, Kaku comes from string theory and quantum mechanics. Yet both reach similar conclusions. Our universe may have emerged from something that came before. If this signal truly represents light from a previous cosmic cycle, it would be revolutionary. As Penrose himself wrote, the very remote future of one eon becomes the Big Bang of the next. So could this be it? Proof we are not the first universe, that something came before and we're only just now seeing its final breath. Why is Webb the first to potentially see this cosmic ghost light when we've had powerful telescopes for decades? The answer lies in Webb's unique capabilities. The James Webb Space Telescope sees deeper into space and thus further back in time than any observatory in human history. Its massive 6.5 meter gold-plated mirror collects light that has traveled across billions of light years revealing objects 100 times fainter than Hubble could detect. But Webb's true advantage is its specialized focus on infrared light. As the universe expands, light from the most distant sources gets stretched to longer wavelengths, shifted from visible light into the infrared spectrum. The oldest, most red-shifted photons in existence would appear precisely in Webb's observational sweet spot. Even our dedicated cosmic microwave background observatories like Planck and WMAP couldn't detect this signal. They're optimized for microwave frequencies, not the specific infrared bands where Webb excels. Webb's filters and spectrographs give it a unique window into this previously invisible realm. That's why this ghost light may have gone unseen for decades, until now. We simply didn't have the right tool to see it. The scientific community isn't rushing to extraordinary conclusions, however. A rigorous investigation is underway to test conventional explanations. First, teams are examining whether the signal could be a statistical artifact, a chance alignment or processing error that mimics a pattern where none exists. Second, researchers are considering if it represents previously unknown galactic clustering at extreme distances, 
structures that don't match our current models, but are still within conventional astrophysics. Third, they're investigating possible contamination from zodiacal light, sunlight reflected by dust in our own solar system, which could create misleading patterns in ultra-deep observations. But if all these explanations are ruled out, and so far many have been, then the real mystery begins. We may be forced to consider the extraordinary possibility that Webb has indeed captured light from before the beginning of our universe. To understand why this potential discovery is so revolutionary, let's quickly review some cosmic basics. Redshift is the stretching of light waves as the universe expands. The farther away an object is, the more its light shifts toward the red end of the spectrum. Astronomers use this to measure cosmic distances and ages. The Big Bang timeline tells us our universe began approximately 13.8 billion years ago, expanding from an incredibly hot, dense state. The first light, the cosmic microwave background, appeared about 380,000 years later when the universe cooled enough for atoms to form. The cosmic horizon represents the limit of our observable universe, the furthest distance we can theoretically see. Light beyond this boundary hasn't had enough time to reach us since the Big Bang. These fundamental concepts have shaped our understanding of the cosmos for decades. Now, this anomalous web signal challenges us to reconsider what we thought we knew. Whether this mysterious infrared pattern ultimately proves to be light from another universe, evidence of a previous cosmic cycle, or simply an unexplained astronomical phenomenon, it reminds us how little we truly know about the universe we inhabit. The James Webb Space Telescope may have just cracked open the prehistory of everything, giving us a glimpse beyond what we thought was the beginning of time itself. If Mikio Kaku is right, the universe we live in is just a ripple in something far, far older. Our cosmic story might be just one chapter in a much longer tale that stretches back through eons we can barely comprehend. This potential discovery doesn't just push the boundaries of astronomy, it challenges our fundamental understanding of reality itself. It suggests that the Big Bang, long considered the beginning of everything, might simply be a transition point in an endless cosmic cycle. As Webb continues its mission, probing deeper into space and time, who knows what other cosmic secrets it might reveal? If you found this discovery fascinating, you won't want to miss our next deep dive. Subscribe, turn on notifications, and join us as we uncover what else the universe is hiding.